groundwater permit when we did the salt shed, so it should yeah. it should be just a so it might be an amendment to that. Yeah. If if there's any increase, if there's not, it. then it's just making sure that we're still you know draining everything. Um, We need a um, kind of box. So we need all the permits before we actually do construction. Do yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think Andy, when you talked to us, you were you were thinking try to get all the permits this year. Yeah. For construction next year. Yeah. The guy yeah. from um, I can't remember. No, the Martin building. He, you know, he said, "Well, I can't do it this year. It has to be middle yeah. of April." Then the other guy from around the building there. I can't remember their names. They did the Enosburg fire station. Okay. Yeah. So he was familiar with the area. And they sounded like, right. he said, maybe I can get something going because I'll call our guy in New Hampshire. And I haven't heard nothing from either one of them that far yet. Yep. Yeah. But they're both kind of looking for like next year. Gotcha. So, yeah, that's what I told them. I said, it'll probably be out long before we get all our permits anyway. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of what Tyler was recommending also because for us to fit everything in and get all your permits this year is going to be a challenge. Yeah. 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 Um, just because everything's so busy and like, you know, getting, getting somebody to build after, you know, say we did get your permits in September, do you really want to start building in October, you know, and yeah. have winter construction permits? And, yeah. You know, but um, yeah, you know, it's 2023 build is good. So Andy already said that they're talking about like next spring. Yeah. Like, like April or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So in other words, lock in a quote with one of them. Yeah. You know, to get an idea. One guy was the Calston guy. Um, they did the Morton Mellons, which are um, a wood frame. Yeah, I thought they were not a at all from They were not because they're a wood frame. And uh, Tim, what the heck were their last names? Anyway, they, they did uh, Enosburg's firehouse and stuff, and they were talking more of a metal mill. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was more almost all metal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think they were their last names. It would be easy to see the work Um. I mean, the big, the big thing we're going to need to know for all of the permitting is how big are you adding any extra people no. over what you already have, which I, I told Tyler no, so that should cover our wastewater. Um, and we do have the size. I mean, I can send all that stuff to you. And then another good thing Tyler had mentioned is there's a new, for the for the bays for cleaning the trucks, as long as we're under a, a certain number, which was pretty high, I want to say it was in the thousands of washings. Yeah. Um, as long as we're under that, we can we can get in without having to do a whole um, retention bay, not retention bay, but retention uh, pond for for the wash, right. um, melting snow. Um, so, is that a breeze strap? A breeze. It's, it's not, you're not supposed to have, <clears throat> excuse me, you're not supposed to have actual grease and oil going into it. That's okay. why we're going to have that one repair bay yeah. at the end right. that's going to be that right. this is a, This is for like wash bay yeah. and, and for snow. Yeah. No, just, no, just no regular regular slump, yeah. You know, trucks. And, yeah. Because now the, our wastewater mm -hmm. all goes into a storage tank right. that gets pumped. Yep. Mm -hmm. So there's no leach field, no nothing. So, I didn't right. know. Right, and we don't have to change that because you're not adding any employees and you still yeah. have the bathroom facility. So we don't have to change the wastewater. If you wanted to do a leach field, which in the long run, they technically are cheaper than pumping, um, we'd have to look around and see what you guys actually have for area that we could use. Yeah. Um, it seems the whole thing, Yeah, I mean, you just put that in a year or two ago. Yeah, two years ago. And it's only has been pumped once a year. Yeah. So far. So it's, so it's going to take a long time for yeah. a leach field to, to mm -hmm. factor out on the balance sheet. Um, 
So, I mean, that's a big thing we need to know is footprint and what you're kind of putting in there. Yeah. We don't need to know exact dimensions, although rough dimensions would be nice so that way we can put together a site plan to show, you know, this is our 100 by 60 building or whatever it's got to be. I know. Yeah. Yeah. What we were 16 by 100. It was 100 by 60. Yeah. Well, that's the same size as Montgomery. No, Montgomery is 120 long. Yeah, so I thought we were bigger than. No. Because they're four bay. No, they're five bay. We're <laughs> one four, right? Mark was at the school working on the generator out there, and uh, he said, you know, when we built ours, it cost us 650000 He said, you might have might be looking at a million dollars. I got a lot of it. I got thinking, you know, you, you might be right. You know, this <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I told you that when we started. <laughs> it was a, it's going to be yeah, 750 We started doing yeah. this uh, four or five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's been five years because we took the, when we put the uh, money into the CD, we did a five year CD and I just renewed it last year. <coughs> but we only did it for a year now so we can take it out whenever. But yeah, so it's, we're What's working on six so years. We're going to put the money in there. How much are we getting there? Almost 100,000. Like can we use that COVID money? So you can use COVID money, but you have to use it under federal standards, which means you have to get bids. Oh, we need two million dollars. Yeah. You, no, you no, can, no, you can just send it and you just means you have to send it out to bid. Absolutely, you can use it for this, but you just send it out to bid. And you gotta get at least three bids. You don't have to take the cheapest, you have to take the best of you know all three worlds. But so yeah. We, so we can, but you can use COVID money to build the house. Yeah. So the people then that we get the building from going to take care of the cement yeah. and the power and all that stuff. They'll yeah. have somebody that oversees all that. So they they should have. Well, I don't know about overseeing. No, they, they should have building plans for you that show where all of those go. You're, you're probably still going to need a site contractor. To, yeah. Yeah. You know, who, so who Tyler that? can do that though, right? Or Tyler doesn't deal with buildings. Okay. No. So do you know somebody that does? <laughs> Larry, Larry there, did he still do that Larry the turnoff or did he retire? I'm not sure. Because he did down here. He's done quite a few. I know he did the Enosburg school roof. He was a clerk of the work. Yeah. He did it here. But I'm not sure if he's clerking anymore. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I deal with the permitting. I don't deal with the construction, so I don't. I, I don't have a, a lot of good people that I can point you to. to right. To say so let's where if we went with somebody local, <laughs> you would actually be better off if you could yeah. find somebody around here that you know what I mean. Like there's quite a few of them. You know what I mean. Like there's Shantae, right. or there's um, Chris Casvan. Chris Casvan. These guys. These guys can come in here and actually. Not saying they have to be the builder, but they can Look they can the find all of your people all, right. we all the way up through, and we haven't looked that way yet. For the concrete, yeah. This company for the electric. Yeah. So, so the builder does the builder have the electrician and all that, or they just put the have the plans there? They they supposed to do the whole build. Connect. So we'll have to find out. Yeah. You know, the only thing like the clerk of the work, what he's going to do is whatever you know. We come to agreement. He's going to make sure all that, or he's supposed to make sure that's all done to code and everything's there that we, well, you know, are paying for. I know, like Larry, when they changed our tapes at the school, he was there taking pictures of everything they did. He's done it quite a while. Okay. But, uh, yeah. I, mean, I could always ask him, he needs to know someone else that mm -hmm. does it, if he doesn't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if he's doing it. Oh. And these guys that you mentioned, do they do that? I talked to Chris. So. Chris was, he did say something that he, he can do the clerk of the words. Mm -hmm. And Sean Tag is more than people. I mean, there's more than that. Oh, Those yeah. were just, yeah, team off the top yeah. of my head, but just meaning they, they know your electricians. They know all the people that can do cement work. They know, you know, everybody around here that can come in and... Mm -hmm. And, and they will oversee everything. 
Because who was it that did this one? Wasn't it Chris? The salt chef? Yeah. Yeah. Because he yeah. he's the one that hired the cement. He did everything, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying, yeah. We, yeah, we just have it look local. local. Yeah. It's yeah. So our steps are to get permits. Right. Get you the size we need, right? So do we have to bid out clerks or works or everything or just bid out the building? Well, I think clerks So, so that, that's where your purchase policy that I sent you guys to read because read it, we I have don't. to have that to use ARPA funds. I, I don't know what they charge you to do clerk mm -hmm. work, you know? Mm -hmm. It's under the 2000 or if it's... Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll find that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll find that out, I guess. So that, but then we have, you know, the permits, and we have to line up somebody actually to do the building, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the both of these companies have done fire stations, and they're, you know, similar buildings. Mm -hmm. You know, because he, he said that guy from uh, Castle and said, "Well, we're doing one right now, sixty by eighty. You know, and it's a fire station, mm -hmm. but you know, same size." Same sort and of deal. They all got doors on the front. Yeah, Just different trucks parked inside. Yeah. So, you know, he said he would name it off the buildings he did. So we could always get, you know, a list of them and if we want to view them. And these other guys are right out of Milton, so they would be a little easier, or at least a little closer to get to. But, mm -hmm. but they do a lot of work for UVM, so they must do decent work. Yeah. You know, uh, mm -hmm. in their in their world. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. At least yeah. two, two years to find somebody yeah, willing. Yeah. Uh, give us a uh, so call us back at least. We just need to get him to give us a quote and yeah. get him to sign yeah. on the line there. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I like exactly. Them, this, uh, I said we, we would like to have an idea of what this is going to cost us. <laughs> right, right. You know, we may have to downsize. You know, mm -hmm. we might not be able to build this. Big as we like. <laughs> <laughs> but if we can get the permits rolling mm -hmm. and we know that you guys are, you know, if you, if you say it's 60 by 100 and you decide that cost wise you have to downsize it, you know, instead of 60 by 80 or whatever you end yeah. up doing, it's easy to go That's smaller. not a yeah. problem because yeah. then we're actually impacting less square footage and, yeah. you know, but if you don't have those permits in place, you order the building and then it's still another four months. Yeah, you can yeah. Right. exactly. Yeah, right. Or if we run into a hiccup when we're doing it with the permits that kick it longer, that's yeah. mm -hmm. that's the stuff that I really think you guys need to get moving on. Yeah, get that crossed off. Then your builders are going to be, you can say, Look, we got permits right. in hand, we're ready to roll. Yeah, because they, they want to come in and get it right. Done. They don't want, right. they don't want to say, Yeah, I can do it in eight months. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. how long are the permits good for? Well, it depends on which ones. Most of most of them, like wastewater, is good forever. Stormwater can be renewed. It's got about a mm -hmm. typically they have about a five year period and they can be renewed. The erosion control is a two year permit. Um, I can't think of any others that you need right off the top of the head right, right, but right now. But um, those are your three big ones. Okay. So now. If down the road we need to we need to put another bay on that. Now do we have to go back in here and do this all? You would amend your permits. Mm -hmm. It would have to be all done again, but mm -hmm. we would so just it. like having the salt building, salt shed, and now you're adding this. So you're gonna you have to run off that same. Yeah. They will they they will be tied together. Mm -hmm. So would it be better even if we don't do it if we oversize the lot the building? If you have the room to fit it. Oh, and we're not, and we we don't kick you over a threshold for stormwater. We're going to build a big retention oh. pond. Yeah. Then yeah. Okay. Yeah, because because uh, it's always easier to start big and work your way down. Right. Yeah. Like a lot of industrial, I say a lot. The few industrial subdivisions I've worked on in the area, usually what we do is we take like a max impervious area for the law, and then we'll we'll get it permitted like that. So then when that lot actually sells and somebody comes in there, as long as they're under that, they're okay. They don't have to renew that permit. Um, they're paying for a little bit more square footage of impervious, but it's, it's, it's a done deal. They don't have to go back and change it. 
I think that'd be the better idea. If as long as we stayed under, if we made it to go like one more bay in within the permit. Well, like if we're a 60 by 100, let's go. If we went 80 by 120, mm -hmm. and still stayed underneath the threshold for the or, or whatever. Don't 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 add the 80 because you don't want to. You never go your deeper. Don't, we won't well, that's deep. that's it. I don't know how big we can go. Before. Well, I mean, we can look at that, and, it, and it's and it makes a difference if we're putting this building on existing gravel, tearing down other buildings, or if we're putting it in completely grass new area. Because new grass area, that's the bigger impacts than, because mm -hmm. if you put a, a roof where there was gravel, it's the same thing. It, 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 you're not really changing it. Oh, as far as the it's a dry, the whole thing's a driveway. Exactly, that, <laughs> and that's what Tyler was trying to, was saying when he had looked at it. He was like, I don't know that we, we might not even trigger the stormwater um, for this because you will be adding mm -hmm. um, more impervious. So we'll have to uh, just check and it out. Yeah. Are we going to keep that? And with the other building coming bad. down, helps us too. Yeah, because uh, that's a, that's impervious. It's there. Oh, from the old garage. Well, you're removing. I just yeah. take so care. It subtracts from what you're adding in. Yeah. I guess we just. So we'll be adding some more pervious because he's going to take concrete out. So water will run through a driveway better than that. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the plan is to take the old shed down. Right, right. so, so <laughs> probably one thing that I should do is Rains go over day, and meet with you <laughs> and you show me where you're going to be building. Because we're going to have to survey in everything just to get a good site plan. Yeah. And then you can say, okay, this building's coming out. This is where the other one's going. And we can draw things up to show. Yeah, anytime yeah. you want to do that. It's yeah. And then, then what's your cost or what's your fee? Well, it, it really depends on what we get. Yeah, yeah, yeah right now. Right now. Okay. Um, yeah. I can put together. Yeah, usually we charge by the hour um, because with permit, permitting, you don't know if it's going to be a short job or a big job. And what I can do is I can get you guys like a, a base price for, you know, putting together the site plan and the things that are known and then kind of list the other things and say, these are, these are going to be hourly. I'm not sure mm -hmm. what the rates are going to be. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And whenever we do any like Act 250 permitting and stuff like that, it's kind of how we have to do it because you don't know what you're going to get into until you get there. Mm -hmm. Sounds like this is going to be a pretty straightforward one and not mm -hmm. Huge but you never know. This, right. <laughs> yeah. No. Any other information we need? Or you need? I, I think I think for me right now, I can get together I can work on putting a, a proposal together to get to Emily and you guys yeah. can have that and then setting up a time just to, to meet mm -hmm. and yeah. go over everything. Perfect. Okay. Start somewhere. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know me and Andy had talked about it <laughs> six months, eight months ago. Yeah. And you mentioned it to me. Five years ago. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. It may have been a year or two ago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah. Well, well thanks, well, Mike. Thanks. Really appreciate yeah, it. No problem. Mike, you got my message I gave you right the other day about what. Going to dig test beds? Yeah, whether well, it was. Try to make it on a Monday. Yeah, I'm going to Oh, okay. I'm just sure. going to listen. Oh, okay. Okay. It's been a long time. Yeah. Oh, you haven't watched this on TV? Mm, the only one I can. <laughs> oh, please <laughs> just don't. <laughs> Not that I don't like the internet. We shoot live every other Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised how many people do watch it on that. That's it, Mark LaRose watches it. No, there are a lot of people who watch yeah. Yeah. it. Yeah. All yeah. of them. They start telling me, you, you really do? <laughs> I'm like, I will not watch because I don't uh, want to know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right, so Danny. Uh, you can see we got a black top in. Right yeah. how, so, how long was that? How many? It's a, how, just shy of two miles? or? I yeah, tried to a mile I tried a mile and a half. I tried to look at my speedometer, but I didn't reset it. was six it. tenths yeah. of a mile from the four corners that way, and uh, 
I think he said it was a mile to match up to uh, where we'd left off. And then he did the 200 feet on, uh, 250 feet on the Richard Road and just a little bit on Center Hill to patch that up. He said he went four ton over. Four ton. So we're in budget then? Probably not, but it's no. okay. Quite a little bit over is not a big deal. Yeah. Um, well, actually, actually, no, because his no. quote was almost a thousand dollars less. Well, he than what we had budgeted for. I told him to stay was it eight thousand under what we had. But you got cold oh, patch, so. Cold yeah, well, yeah, so I can buy more mm. cold patch. Yeah. So I, I mean, it's it's still so it's good. It's, it's it'll be close. Man, it's nice. Yeah. yeah. The oh. sugar is done, now those bumps will be back next spring. Yeah. Oh, right now it's nice. Uh, today we spent fixing the driveways, and then probably tomorrow we'll shoulder the rest of the road. It'll take maybe two days to shoulder the rest of that road. Uh, we've tried doing some sweeping, whatever. We've done a little grading. Uh, doing some stripping in the pit. Cecil's been pretty good at sifting. He's, we've uh, gone through a lot of gravel, which is something else. We mentioned what, in December last year, what are we doing with the gravel pit or were we going to talk to somebody or not? I just figured I'd mention it because we got, I don't know how many, what we got left in the pit. So has anybody really been doing stripping in there? Or? I've been doing it, but it takes me forever to do it with the excavator. So can we hire somebody else to go in there and strip it? Like, cause we have money in the budget for stripping. Uh, was it done Anthony? Anthony was. But Anthony's still, I'm not sure I don't really dare to speak, but I think he, he's got money left over to do stripping. There's always money in the budget for stripping. There's yeah, no money left he, over. We don't, we don't carry. We didn't carry it over. No, what we put in each year is what we do. Yeah, but I think I'm not sure. That's why I hate saying this. I think we paid him to do so much stripping, oh. and he didn't get to that mark. Okay, I'm just saying that's, if he's not that's doing right, it, that's should we be hiring that's... somebody else who's gonna do it? I'm. We should talk to him, I guess. First. Yeah, and see, I haven't seen him because I kind of understood what he didn't like doing with the fire stripping and so I did it but right now I'm moving two three thousand yards of material eight feet then I walk on that eight feet and I move that two three thousand yards another eight feet plus plus another thousand mm -hmm. yeah so I mean I can do it but it's just time consuming because I can only right. move it you if know, there's gravel in there, you know, we might as well be... Yeah, I mean, there's... That's time. Huh? We, that's time. Can we wrap a bulldozer if we need? Yeah. But you, you don't operate now. Yeah. I like operating bulldozer. I'm not very good at it. Yeah. So... It's gravel. Do you have to be? <laughs> yeah, well, no, but... It's not like we're driving on it. No. Yeah. Uh, you're not making a pretty road. You're just I don't moving, know if we're moving moving dirt. big enough dozer and all. Uh, it's going to take a good sized dozer because I got it like 20 feet deep. I'll get the price, so let's drop it off tomorrow. Okay. Okay, <laughs> right. you got me in on uh, that? Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> trying to think what else. There's, I still got some grading to do. We're still. Uh, uh, we've been trying to put chloride down, but every time we go to put chloride down, the truck is broke, so. We can only use one truck. Been wet. Been wet. But, uh, yeah. Actually, the roads aren't too bad. There's a couple bad spots here. It wasn't here. dusty yesterday. No. <laughs> uh, I guess that's about it. Uh, that's the only big thing I wanted to mention was the pit. I don't know. Uh, Are there people out there that go around and do stripping? Oh, any contractor that's mm -hmm. good. So I said Scott could, if he had time though. If he had time. And, uh, well, I, I mentioned Scott a few years back. 
his machine isn't as big as Anthony, so, which I don't care who does it. I mean, it's a pretty simple forward deal. So, I mean, I mean, we could, I mean, I could, we'll I find could out. Spell. Have to go take a look at it. All see right. if it's so I said you, I can. Call Anthony. Uh, no, not really. I can. I'll call him tomorrow. I'll just, you know, be like, I don't. Huh? I don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. 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 I I thought Anthony was going to, yeah, but not. Because I got nervous the other day. I went by there, and there's somebody's loader sitting in there. So somebody... They got one in there, don't they? Yeah. I heard uh, Reed is drawn out of there. Could be. Yeah, he was going by today. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's coming out of there. It's just one of the things I hate to see if there's an opportunity to get it and lose it. Because it won't be long, we'll be out, and then we're going to be hot trucking it mm -hmm. a long distance, like everybody else is. Not a long distance. Gravel pits are right there. We're, yeah. We've got the shortest drive out of everybody. Just yeah. so you know, it's but not a long distance. I just, <laughs> it's one of them deals, they'll go empty too. Well, I said a few years ago, we should have been, we should probably think about budgeting a little bit every year for gravel. That way, when you're somewhere that's farther away from our and you're close to one, mm -hmm. you can buy it. Because oh, yeah. pretty soon we're going to have to buy it all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though we had a pit, if you were close, like down Birch East. Yeah, Birch if you were down getting it out so of Tatro's and stuff like that. We've yeah. done that. You come out of Tatro's pit, but. Yeah, they might want to think south. about it more What's now it this year. Right. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. He's quite expensive. But but we're not hauling from all the way up here down. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's and, 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 and at some, some point you're going to be buying all of it and expensive. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's why. The okay. Kainisberg, they, uh, what they how they do that up to, to they they uh, up to uh, they leased it or something for so long and they got they paid him so much a yard for everything they took out and then at the end of the day they give it back right? they give it back they paying him like don't quote me on prices but no but they took like a 10-year uh a 10-acre lease. lease of land for 10 years and it's working out to be like two dollars three dollars a yard for what they take out of it yeah then they sell it back for give it back to the landowner and then they have an opportunity to get another 10 acres and you keep working that way and that gets uh seeing it as a town getting the gravel yeah. you can get out of your act 50. yeah you get out of your permit business for that so and i think like tatrell's pit i think they're getting seven or eight dollars a yard and I don't think it'd be much different between Rogers or who, uh, mm -hmm. Harrison's pit. The only thing I do know with Rogers' pit, which would also be Harrison's pit, is the gravel won't pack that well. We've used it before, but I don't know. It's not saying that Wells's wouldn't do the same. I mean, it's all the same vein, so. But it's. It'll be. I guess what it'll be. It'll be. It's either that. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it is what it is. I mean, the stuff all the gravel in St. Albans well, and everywhere be, else comes from Berkshire. Yeah. Find out Edisburg operated that. How they did it with. Don't look at me. Right? No, I'm just not saying. I'm, I'm talking to everybody. <laughs> how they went about getting it through rights. Mm -hmm. And maybe I, when we find that out, I thought Anthony was going to go talk to him. Um, Would you like to do that? <laughs> go talk to him? Uh, you just gotta go talk to Joey anyway. Who? Joey. Or are you talking about Dub Dub? Dub. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for Joey. Yeah. I could find out. No, how they find did. out how they did that. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. bring yeah. it back and go talk Because if to Doug him, thinks yeah. he's gonna keep his, he gets if his lands will still be his, that might be more easier. Yeah, you know, so you just. Pay him so much a yard for right. how many years it is. Yeah. See, I talked with Doug about well, five, six years ago, and he said he was more than willing to do it, but he didn't want to sell the land. Right. So if he leased it, yeah, that'd be, like I said, he's all, 
Uh, you you know, it. The thing is, if something happens to Doug, it's going to be a whole different ballgame. I mean, there are people that want to have their little bit bad. Could we invite him to our, would he come to a meeting? What about uh, the roses? Is, it, is there gravel in that? I think it's mostly sand in there. Yeah, it's, all, it's a lot of sand. Well, that was my two cents on that, that's so. all. Let's see if I can find Joey. Is that actually signed. Yeah. yeah, just see how they set it up and then right. we can, yeah. Then maybe. It was just gray hair, you're good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> then maybe Doug sure. can come to our next meeting. Yeah, sure. so I said, I'll call him and, and I'll, well, I'll, I'll stop and see him actually. Okay. But yeah, no, I'll invite him. Who's that? Doug. Doug. Okay. Doug. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can even call Larry. He's on the slide board. He probably knows how they did it too. Mm hmm. I'm yeah. sorry. I can call Larry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And not letting if somebody else got something. Yeah, Molly's probably at home. Any other questions for Dave? Nope. Nope. We're good. We're down to the clerk. So you guys all got the purchase policy. I gave it to everybody. I started reading it. If you didn't bring it, I do have an extra copy. We're, we don't have to finalize it tonight. That was not my plan. It was just so you guys can look at it because in order to spend your ARPA funds, you're supposed to have part of that means that you have this purchase policy. So I tried to go with as basic as you could get and still have the federal requirements in there. Mm -hmm. So where I highlighted everything means you can change any of those amounts. Okay, if you want to look at it because it's going to pertain to you in the end, which it goes with us building the garage and everything. But it doesn't say that you have to take the least amount. We don't have to take the lowest amount on anything. And you can still go with, you know what I mean? Like if you decided like, you know, like Pike is our people that pay, we can put it out to bid one time and just say, nope, they are the better of the, they do a better job for the quality, you know, the quality, the price. You know what I mean? There's still a lot of variables in there, but when we sign this, no matter what we do, even if it's not federal, we're supposed to run by this. So well, that's why I'm saying some of these um, amounts. When I read it, the part I thought was important was the purchasing authority and that list of different yeah. categories of people and how much they can purchase before the select board approves it and things like that. So it's kind of... Which is on out. page two. Page two. That's laid out. Yeah. Page. So I didn't put the select board in there because you guys already have the authority to choose what you guys, you know what I mean? If, you know, I mean, you guys are allowed to spend, and none of you guys go out and actually buy something alone, but if you guys approve something, it already mm -hmm. runs outside of this, so mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. But um, so under incidental purchases, that's like the minimum you can do without your approval. And I put 500, but... Danny order and parts and stuff's higher. That's going to have to be higher. Yeah, it's going to be Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. We'll have to sit down and give them permission to fix a truck, so we'll have to raise that. So... Right? That's where I'm asking you guys, because a truck could cost $10,000 to fix. But now you're giving Danny the authority to go out and spend ten thousand dollars on them. <laughs> well, truck would be the second one. So the first one, let's say he needs to buy just a pump for one of anything uh, is mm -hmm. a, is a thousand dollars. Where and if it has to be fixed, he he's gonna have to call all of us up. No, if you look at minor <laughs> purchases, I think that would cover that. So I mean, the, incidental the incidental yeah. purchases are just your basic. Day to Everyday day. type things. 
So, like, that's where I don't know where all of this falls in because it doesn't actually give you the right. Because, like, the generator, what was that, 1100 bucks? 1100 bucks. I right. mean, usually, so, though, something like that. I but he did first. come to you guys for that. So, I don't, that's what I mean. Anything, I don't know how you want to. Usually, anything. Do like you want to do incidental as 2000 well, he tells us what the truck's going to cost before we pay the bill, right? So we talk about. And it's a little about... late because we already got the bill, but that's okay. Well, <laughs> but but we don't have a choice on that, so it doesn't matter. So I mean, you got. I mean, if you guys can change any of these amounts all you want. I just went with a basic number, and that's why I'm asking you guys what you want to do. If you want to raise them, raise them to anything you want. Well, actually, my minor equipment budget is what. Two thousand. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so he's kind of. So you can go two thousand on. Well, half two thousand on the minor. Right. Five to two. Yeah. And major. Anything over two thousand is has to come to the select board according to this. Yeah. So what? Except for a lot of times you tell us the truck's truck. broken, right. so we know we're going to be spending mm -hmm. money the minute one of those things leave here. Right. Yeah. 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 I mean, so, that, yeah, that so, would be the only major thing that I would have as far as purchasing is uh, repairs. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you ask us anyways. Yeah, yeah. besides so, so These numbers will work because... Yeah. You know I mean? Like every two weeks we come here and we can just kind of be like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I don't see where them numbers will be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the truck's usually in there long enough for us to have at least one meeting to find out this <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes we have six, seven meetings. <laughs> <laughs> it's broke, it's broke, it's gonna go down, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean it's yeah, and you don't know what it's gonna cost till it gets after it's there. Yeah. But then again, all in all approval. Oh, but so, all in all so approval could mean that when when I cut that check. If you guys don't sign the warrant, you didn't you didn't approve it either. So you know what I mean. It doesn't mean. Yeah. So. Have we ever not signed a warrant? <laughs> Actually, you have not. <laughs> so when what is? Like I said, if you don't, we because I, I think we leave it the same. I moved to. Okay. I move to accept mm -hmm. this the way it's written. Okay. I have a second for that. I'll second it. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Go ahead. Aye. Aye. All right. Well, Aye. Aye. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. All this paperwork. So this will lend me into the next thing that. Uh, oh, we're not done now? So uh, I wait. only have one more and I screwed up the amount on this one. So Is everybody in silence or just? Yeah, please. Okay. I have to have at least three. So. so the local hazard mitigation plan, we budgeted $3,000 for it. In the budget and it, it came in at $5,000. But it's not a big deal. It's not like we don't make that up somewhere else and we have to have it. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. It's going to Hopefully be. Hopefully, we don't have too many not big deals, but we're going to go over the budget. <laughs> but Northwest Regional Planning, I could get other quotes, but I would really like to work with them. You know, they're just easy to work with. And as Danny knows, they're coming out here. It's me, him, you, and you that's got to work with them. With who? Fire chief, road foreman, select board chair, town clerk. It's going to be us four. What if I don't want to work with them? <laughs> you have to. That's part of your fire chief hat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and select board member. <laughs> and they didn't tell you that. Did they? Yeah, yeah, must be. But must yeah. be. A, but we no. don't need a raise yeah. for that job. <laughs> so do we need a, a motion? motion? I'll just send it off to Sean yeah. Coleman, motion who's doing to that. Increase. Is he ever coming up? So yeah, he's going to come. So up what's the hazard at this to? It's, it's every five years we have to do a local hazard mitigation plan in case there's some big emergency and... So we're just paying somebody to write some words down on a piece of paper. Oh. Because if we spill anything or do anything, we have to pay to get rid of it. Right. Anyway. Maybe okay. what we should, you should do is next meeting give a copy to all of us so we know. Because all our, our names are on it. Yeah. It, it is. It's... Um, 
Yeah. Not all of us. So this one actually uh, is. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Like I said, it's every five Why years. Why was Andy on it? Oh, well, Danny, me? No. It, it Danny, actually Danny. takes them oh, more work. Yeah. They'll probably come and up here for one, school. maybe oh. two meetings, and they do all the work except for the two meetings with us. And that's worth five thousand. That's better than a slugman skip. <laughs> it might not be that much in the end. That's it. That's a rule. So I have. Did somebody make a motion to approve that? I move okay. to approve it. Second. Oh, okay. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, you. Thank you. That's it. Yeah. That's all I have. If well, anybody you know, else? I have a question. Okay. Uh, whatever happened to the B thing over here? I have no idea. Okay. Nope. No. Nope. I have no idea. I hope oh, they're going to do curious. something soon because that's going to get pretty high and uh, yeah. you're going to send so. Cecil over there to mow it, right? <laughs> you can. I'm just thinking, yeah, because mm. they were supposed to be up here in early May. Yeah, they were because the, the beehives are already over at RJ Funier's sugar place. Are they? Hmm. They're oh. set up there. Well, so. Maybe just tell people who we hired for the lawn. Oh yeah, yeah. Just to have it. Okay, sure. that's right. Yeah. So Jacob Marsha put a bid in for lawn mowing, and he put it in for the twenty five hundred, which is exactly what we have in the budget. So we would like approval for him to mow our lawns, please. I moved it. I'll second. second. If I mow it again, we're getting the new right lawn. Yeah. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Twenty five hundred dollars. I, I bet we'd get a really nice riding lawnmower. It might. And then uh, you get, but then you got to truck it down to the cemetery too. Right? Oh, so I don't want to do the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> I did do this one. Yeah. All those so, in favor? All right. Perfect. So the only Thank question you. I have is with the garage thing. So do we need to get, like you said, Sean Tag or somebody now? talk to them to see if they want to keep track of that stuff for us or are we a long ways from that? Well, I'm just saying, I don't know. No, it all depends on what throw it out there. Yeah, yeah, because you know, they might get busy too. If I see Chris in the store, I'll mm -hmm. visit with him. I'm just saying, I don't <clears throat> know other people that, uh, because I mean, I know there. there's lots of them, but I can't think of anybody right off the top of my head that. And when we do the size, should we go 120 by 50? Well, I was just thinking it's easier to cut it down. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think we want it any deeper. But no, 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 60 is deep. 60 is deep. 60 is deep, yeah. deep, deep enough. But you could go 60 by 120. 120. That would give you enough for room for another bay if you ever wanted to put it on, even though we... Yeah. And you wouldn't have to go through everything. And we just got to make sure that when we do mm -hmm. the outside wall to the side we're going to add on that, we build that. So they can just take it down and add on, right? Yeah, they put yeah. like a frame. There's a special because frame. Because our last bay though is going to be the the maintenance bay. Yeah. The maintenance bay. So that that's going to have that fireproof wall on the one side. Oh, I don't know about the other side though. Because uh, no, you know, isn't it? Don't you I think it's only the inside wall. Okay. Protect. You know, if it wants to burn to the outside, let it go. Because you have to put that fireproof thing in. For yeah, that repair because they, it was Andy said they put special rafters mm -hmm. on the end so they can okay. just take the steel off and then mm -hmm. keep going. Okay. And if you yeah. don't build it that way, you have to tear that all apart and build the wall to keep going. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, it might cost a little more, okay. but it'll save us in the long run. And we just nope, put that's it remember all. that that's above true. the offices is all storage. To, well, that's just for everybody in general. That's tomorrow. That cannabis okay. regulations. There's a webinar for that tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, wait a minute! Don't close the meeting. I didn't. Okay, because we didn't. Oh, yeah, what about their that? liquor license yet? Oh, whose was that? Well, that was the guy. That here. was um, the Barnell Cafe's oh, oh. liquor license. Oh. Did they get approved to have a restaurant there yet? Or no, nope, they're just serving it to go. They just do the if somebody comes in and gets stuff, they can actually take wine or beer and oh. go outside with it, just like a just like well, the they're going to have beer there too. What's their hold up? I don't know. Sewer system. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. the okay. guy that okayed it, rubber stamped it, retired. Before, and the new guy doesn't want to rubber stamp it. Oh. So, so typical state bureaucracy bull crap. So they have to put a whole new. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So Pretty we much. have the liquor license for them. It is a um, second class liquor license. Do I have a motion to approve the liquor motion. license for the bar now? I'll make a motion that we okay the cafe. Approve the cafe. Oh, All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. I know they have good All right. So <laughs> they don't make it. They get it from oh, elsewhere. Have even been in there. I don't do. The, I don't I think, think they make guys, anything. It's all well, vendors from well, Vermont. Well, yeah. well, on the approved side, I just need everybody here to sign, please. And then I still got ice cream. That that I might have to been. swing in. There's a plank hole. They have there. ice cream there. Yeah. So it yeah. says on the sign. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What's this? Our ice cream. Our uh, Cafe. The yeah. in East Birch. The old, the old uh, general store in East Birch. Yeah. There, the, oh, they have the weddings. Used to be used to the weddings there. What do they used to call that? Pigeon, 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 pigeon something. Yeah. All right. Now, if you want to close the meeting, you can. If you sure? Pigeons out. Put Barnells yeah. in. Motion yeah. to close the meeting. Put the Barnells ate the pigeons. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yep. Yes. Tony, all those in favor? And it is seven. Oh, wow. You guys did good. Seven. Yeah, we actually covered quite a bit. Yeah.